It's been quite the spring in Paris, with the city set to host the Olympic Games for the first time in 100 years. This time around, the Seine River will play a leading role in the Games, as it will serve as the stage for the Olympic opening ceremony and also as a venue for three swimming events. This is a big deal because what was once a portal to pleasure, Parisians sunbathing and splashing in the river, swimming in the Seine has been banned for more than a century because of river traffic and heavy pollution. But that's set to change. In a groundbreaking move to enhance the environmental conditions of the Seine River, a massive underground water storage basin is being unveiled ahead of the Olympics. The water tank will be so big you could nearly fit the entire Statue of Liberty inside it. Located in the heart of the city, the tank will serve as a crucial reservoir, capable of storing excess rainwater, preventing flooding and alleviating pressure on the city's sewer system. Today let's explore all the fascinating details about this giant water tank and investigate why this colossal infrastructure project is important for the upcoming Olympics and beyond. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The Seine is one of the world's most iconic rivers. Indeed, the river has defined Paris since it was founded by ancient Romans. It was along these riverbanks that merchants in the Middle Ages first set up, and it was on these banks too that the world's finest architects constructed the Eiffel Tower, the Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Louvre and Orsay Museums. But Paris has been soiling its river for centuries. That includes throwing into the Seine the bodies of those killed in the 16th century religious wars between Protestants and Catholics, and in more recent decades discarding TV sets, motorcycles, and other large items in the river. 360 tons of large items are hauled out of the Seine every year. But the biggest source of pollution in modern times has been the dumping of countless tons of wastewater, which includes domestic and industrial sewage into the river. As a result of the heavy pollution, authorities banned swimming in the Seine in 1923. But the idea of cleaning up the Seine is hardly new. In 1990, then Paris mayor and later French president Jacques Chirac declared he would launch a major cleanup of the Seine and swim in it in three years. The idea withered over the years, and Chirac died in 2019, his grand ambition unfulfilled. What makes this time different is the pressing Olympics deadline. When mayor of Paris and Hidalgo presented her winning bid for the 2024 Games back in 2016, she promised that Paris would undergo a drastic environmental upgrade by 2024. Key to her bid was enabling Olympic athletes to swim in the river, as they did when Paris hosted its first Olympics in 1900. The planned solution for the Seine cleanup is centered on a $1.5 billion giant underground rainwater storage tank in southeastern Paris. The mammoth structure known as the Austerlitz Basin, equivalent to roughly 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools, is capable of holding more than 10 million gallons of rainwater. It is no secret that Paris's existing sewer system is outdated. Some 150 years ago, under Napoleon's rule, a massive remake of Paris was carried out, putting into place infrastructure that may have been cutting edge in the 1860s but is now largely antiquated. This involved a combined sewer system in which waste and stormwater runoff from the streets are collected in the same network. Since the 1980s, efforts have been made to modernize this system. That has drastically cut down the amount of untreated wastewater going into the Seine, but has not entirely eliminated the problem. The massive new underground water storage basin in Paris is a marvel of engineering, designed to revolutionize the cleanup of the Seine River. The construction process involved excavating deep underground to create a vast storage space with a capacity to hold millions of gallons of water. The tank is built using advanced techniques and materials to ensure its durability and efficiency in managing rainwater. This basin will serve as a crucial component in collecting and treating stormwater runoff, preventing pollutants from entering the river and improving its overall water quality. 
Innovative features such as advanced filtration systems and monitoring technology ensure that the water stored in the basin meets stringent quality standards before being released back into the Seine. The basin comprises a cylindrical structure 50 meters in diameter and 30 meters deep, supported by 16 pillars descending up to 80 meters underground. Runoff from the rain will come here, instead of overwhelming the sanitation network. It will then be transported through a tunnel next to a downstream treatment plant, then back into the river. This engineering marvel is poised to revolutionize Paris's wastewater management by storing excess water and gradually channeling it into the sewer network for treatment. The hope is that this giant rainwater tank diverts enough of the sewage that the river becomes clean enough for people to swim in it again. Despite the ambitious $1.5 billion project, recent tests have shown that the Seine still contains unsafe levels of bacteria, making swimming in the river a potential health risk. Test results from mid-June 2024 show unhealthy levels of E. coli and enterococcibacteria in the river. But Paris officials remain hopeful that the river can be cleaned in time for the Olympics. Even Paris Mayor and Hidalgo and French President Emmanuel Macron have pledged to take a swim in the Seine's waters to prove their cleanliness, but that has not yet happened, and many Parisians think cleaning the Seine is all but impossible. Whether any of the Olympians and Paralympians preparing to compete in the Seine get the chance to swim in the river remains an open question. It turns out that a $1.5 billion water tank can only do so much. During heavy rainfall, the tank and tunnel system are overwhelmed, and street runoff and fecal matter would still flow into the river. Officials predicted that this would happen, but they hope sunny weather patterns will hold. Right now, without any alternative locations for the races, if it rains there is no plan B, other than postponing the races for a few days. But if all goes to plan, the outcome of building the water basin and cleaning the Seine will be commendable. The Austerlitz Basin project represents a significant milestone in the city's efforts to enhance its water management infrastructure and build resilience against the impacts of climate change. The construction of the giant water tank not only addresses historical water management challenges but also sets a new standard for sustainable urban development practices. A swimmable seine could also give Parisians an escape from sweltering summer temperatures. Not only will this project benefit Parisians by enhancing their safety and quality of life, but it will also have a positive impact on the environment. Officials predict the revival of fish stocks that have dwindled over the decades, as well as the restoration of river foliage. Further, an economic motivation looms large, as cleaning the Seine was a cornerstone of Paris's winning bid for the 2024 Olympics. The event is estimated to generate up to $11.4 billion for the French economy and create 250,000 jobs. A year after the Games end, Parisians will have access to 26 new swimming pools in the Seine, expected to open by 2025, four of them in the city center. The pools will be walled off from heavy boat traffic that carries cargo, garbage, and about 7 million tourists a year. Yet cleaning the Seine might not be the final challenge for Paris officials. Parisians will need to feel safe enough to swim in the 26 swimming pools along the Seine that will open after the Olympics. Public confidence in the cleanup is not certain, given years of bacteria in the water and the possibility that a particularly heavy rainfall could contaminate parts of the river. But city officials are not deterred. They believe their plan will only build on the progress made in recent years to upgrade waste treatment and make the Seine swimmable once again. What do you think? Can the Seine be cleaned in time for the Olympics? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.